Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Laura. For today's recipe, what I would like to share with you is how I make a traditional fruitcake. Yes, I know not everybody likes fruitcake. I know there's a lot of jokes behind it, but to me, this is a special fruitcake. <laughs> my mom used to make us a fruitcake a long time ago, and unfortunately, I never got her recipe. So I have fiddled around with different recipes through the years, and I have come down to one that I really, really enjoy, and I would like to share it with you. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Laura. If you're a regular here, thanks for stopping by again. I really appreciate you. I will have the recipe and any items that I use in the description box, as always. I have gotten a lot of messages that people can't find the recipes. If you go by the title of the description box and it says show more, just click on that and it'll drop down the description box and show you all the information that I have. Don't forget if you're enjoying our content, give us a thumbs up. That really helps us out here on the channel. And if you leave a comment, that helps a lot. Don't forget to go follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. Okay, let's get started. Okay, everybody, I'm going to go over a couple of things that I did in the recipe before we start. Now, this is the, the candied fruit that I use. I know this is not for everybody, like I said, but you can use dried fruits like apricots, pineapples, whatever type of fruit you want to use. I just personally love the traditional fruit that was used for this. Now, I did macerate these and some alcohol. I did get some brandy, and of course the recipe is in the description box below. And I did this, it's been in the refrigerator for two days. I put some brandy and some orange liqueur. That gives the fruit a lot, a lot of flavor. So that's what I use. I just wanted to show you this ahead of time. I won't show you where I put the alcohol in here. Okay, so I just wanted to go over that with you. And we're gonna start with the flour mixture. I have all my spices over here. Okay, we have our baking powder, our salt, our cinnamon, our allspice, our nutmeg, and our cloves. Yes, it's a lot of spices, but this is what gives the cake a lot of flavor. And I use uh, my cheat sheet here. What I do is I print out a copy of my recipe, and as I'm filling up my little bowls, because that's just how I work, I just mark it off so that I don't forget where I'm at because it happens to everybody. You you forget something and this way I'm ensured that I don't forget anything and I don't end up having to throw the whole thing away. Okay, so we're just going to mix this, make sure everything is incorporated into our flour. This is just all-purpose flour and just give it a good whisk. Okay, and that's it. The rest of the things that I have are brown sugar, my pecans, my eggs, and my butter. Now the apricot, the jam that I have here, this is for the very end that goes on the top. We melt it and brush them on top, but this is for the end. Make sure that all your dairy, your butter, and your eggs are at room temperature, even your fruit. Make sure that you bring it out to room temperature so that it doesn't affect the cake. We need to preheat our oven to 325, and these are the pans that I am using. I am using a 9x5 pan, I spray it and I use parchment paper and on these smaller ones because I use these as gift giving items for people who like fruitcake and I use these smaller ones and I'm going to spray these. Alright, we are going to start with our butter and we're going to cream this until it's very very light and fluffy. This is important because you don't want fruitcake is a dense cake but I try to make mine a little bit a little bit more fluffy than the usual cake. So we are gonna beat this until light and fluffy before we add in our sugars. Okay now we're going to scrape everything down and we're going to add our sugar and we're going to beat the sugar in with the butter for about a, a whole minute, maybe a minute and a half. Okay, so here goes the brown sugar. Okay, now we're going to add the eggs one at a time, making sure that each one is incorporated before dropping the, the next one. Ok, 
Okay, now let's scrape everything down again. Okay, we're going to start adding in the flour a little bit at a time, just going at a low speed. Okay, it seems like everything is mixed up pretty well. So now we're going to start dropping in the fruit and the pecans. And it starts getting kind of thick at this point, so just take your time. If the mixer, if your mixer's not big enough to support the fruit, you can take it all out and mix it and in, incorporate it by hand. Okay, so we're going to start adding in some of the fruit. If there's any remaining alcohol in the bowl, you're going to throw that in there as well. it a little bit and here goes the rest of it. Okay and that's it. I'm going to transfer you over and we're going to pour them into the pans. Alrighty, here we have our big bowl of fruitcake dough. Now we're going to start pouring it into our pans. Now I will say, I don't like to make my food cakes very tall for the simple reason that when people eat fruit cake, they're just going to have a little slice for the most part. So I like to just make them about halfway. I get a little offset spatula and also it's less cooking time. If you make them too big, they take a long time to cook and the cake tends to dry out. So there you go. I fill it about that much. Let me fill the next one. Okay, that's about the same. And now, whatever I have left, I pop them into the smaller ones. Alrighty, everything is done. I am gonna pop these in the oven. I'm going to place these in there first and I'm going to let this sit out here on the counter because I like for there to be circulation in the oven so everything cooks evenly. So we're going to pop these in and I'll be back when they're ready. Okay everybody, the cakes are out of the oven and this is what they look like. See how they're not so tall? It took exactly, even at this height, it took an hour and 20 minutes exactly at 325 degrees. So just keep that in mind when you're uh, making making the fruit cake. Okay, I am going to show you the first thing I am going to show you so I can get it out of the way before we cut into a cake is how I gift wrap this and it's very very easy. The first thing that I do is I get a little board and then I just cover it with some parchment paper just so it doesn't look ugly. And then I put some little doilies, Christmas colored doilies. You don't have to put them if you don't have them. I just think it's a nice touch. And then you add your cake. Okay, I'm going to get this one out of the way. Okay, so it's going to be presented like this. You have some doily on each side. And the first thing I do is I get some saran wrap. And I pull the saran wrap. Okay, then I place my cake on top. Then I bring the saran wrap over like this and then I pull some more. I cut it off and I pull it real tight just so you have a smooth outer layer just like that. And then you just wrap it under And then sometimes I put another one going in the other direction. So that it wraps just like that. See how nice that looks? And then for just extra so that it can stay fresh and it doesn't get dry, I just put it into a smaller bag. This bag is not nearly big enough, but that's okay. We'll add a little bit of tape. 
And then I get a little label. I get these at the Dollar Tree, guys. Not at, not expensive at all. One dollar for all these labels. And then you put your little label on it. And there you go. Nice presentation. Okay, let's go ahead and cut into the other cake. I'm dying to try it. Let's go ahead and cut into this one. Now you can use a serrated knife. And I want to show you up close. Look at that. See, I like this cake because it has more cake than some of the fruit cakes you see nowadays that they're just all fruit. It looks like a box of fruit. This has cake, a good assortment of fruit and nuts, and lots and lots of spices. Look at that. Yummy. Okay, everybody, let's give this a taste. I've been dying to try it. I love fruit cake. I know a lot of people, they have a love-hate relationship with it, but I love fruit cake. Mmm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. mm. Very, very good. This is very good, guys. I mean, this is just Christmas on a plate for me. And if you're a fruitcake lover, you know what I'm talking about. But I, I, what I love about this cake is that it has cake, actual batter, you know, cake in there. You're not just biting into all that fruit, and it is delicious. The spices are just spot on for this. I hope you give this a try. What I forgot to show you guys is the apricot. What I do with the apricot jam at the end, I just melt it in the microwave just for about 30 seconds and then just polish the cake. And it gives it this real pretty shine. That's it, just one time over and that's all you need. And there you go. Look at that, how pretty that looks. Okay guys, that's gonna conclude the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making this one for you. If you enjoyed our content, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share with family and friends. Okay, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.